Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a random, this is going to be a random love reading. So this is for the collective, all signs. Something could be going on with the love spell. It says, you've been bewitched. Somebody could be spying, collective, you or your lover could be spying. I heard intuitively, your lover could be spying on you to see if the spell is working. Luck is on your side. So this is a love reading. Someone has to tell you something. It could be a third party or some type of reconciliation. But some of y'all just be careful. Because somebody can have a, a third party. Or you're someone's third party and that's why they're doing a spell. Or someone reconciling with you. It could be a love spell. So some of y'all just be careful. Alright. Spirit, give me messages. Oh, keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate. Other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So this reading can resonate now. It can resonate later on down the line in time. Or this um, present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So I'm going to pull two. Spirit told me to pull two. Um, I'm going to see who, who what sign your lover is. Spirit, what's the collective's um, lover, sun sign? So, some of you guys, your lover is a Leo. For all of you guys, your lover is a Cancer or a Pisces. This high priestess energy, this person could definitely be doing a, um, a love spell. Collective, for some of you guys, it's your third party. It's your third party that could be doing a spell on you because you could have a main lover. This high priestess, this cancer, or this Pisces could be doing a love spell. Don't have to be. But we got cancer, Pisces, Leo. So let me pull on a sun sign that could actually be doing a love spell. Spirit, what's the sun signs of the lovers, uh, the collective lovers that's actually doing a spell? A love spell? What's the sun sign? A Sagittarius? And the water sign, yeah. Yep. For some of y'all, air sign as well. So Sagittarius out here doing a love spell. And um, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Water sign doing a love spell. And this could be y'all third party or someone you just reconcile with or something like that. Or your main lover, this this uh, Sagittarius in that water sign, they could be your main lover and they're aware you have a third party. So your main lover could be doing a love spell on you. So you won't, um, they could be intimidated by the fact that you're cheating on them or by the third party. So for some of y'all, it's your main lover that's doing the spell. For other guys, it's your third party. So just take the messages out of the way. It say, get ready to be wined and dined. Spirit, give me a message for this collector. You will be traveling soon. Give it time. Everything in divine time and let things flow. Collector, for some of you guys, something going on with you and your lover, something to do with a vacation or y'all spend the time together. And I heard it could be like changing of plans, like the plans changed and you want to know why. So collective, say like if your lover told you 
y'all going on vacation together next year. And then, like, earlier today, your lover said, oh, no, we going to go on vacation in two weeks. It's like you want to know why somebody changing plans or what changed or why something changed. So something was either sped up or slowed down around you guys spending time together or going on some type of vacation. And everything in divine time and let things flow. Collector, for some of y'all, your lover could just be um, a bit stubborn. And every time you insist, your lover on purpose delay something. Or something like that. Some of y'all, y'all lover could be very stubborn, very controlling. And this lover that's very stubborn, very controlling, this is definitely, that's confirmation, your lover do spell work and they'll do a love spell on you. Because they're very controlling. So, collective, you probably want to rush and your lover want to slow things down. Or y'all want to know why something changed. About a vacation or y'all spending time together or something. Or traveling or something. So, collective, let things flow. And you're, um, you might find out more information or th and things like that about your suspicions. Give something time. Or something might happen sooner than what you expected. S something might happen unexpectedly, too. Get ready to be wind and dying. Yeah. Clear if I give it time. Mercury retrograde. Electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. So, collector, for some of you guys, you're going on this vacation with your lover or something going on with your love life around Mercury retrograde. I think Mercury retrograde start in November. I think it's November the 15th to December 20th or something like that. So some of y'all might go on a vacation or be spending time with your lover around Mercury Retrograde. Get ready to be wind and dying. For some of you guys, if your love life is stale, during Mercury Retrograde, your lover is going to return. Or something like that. Or your love life is going to pick up drastically. For some of y'all, your lover is going to return to you during Mercury Retrograde. Clear by vacation. A air sign. So y'all air sign or your lover an air sign. Or y'all could be taking an airplane. So you, some of you guys will be traveling by way of air. By airplane. Or you're an air sign. Or your love an air sign. If you guys have more than one lover, you could be figuring out if you single or y'all have more than one lover. Collective, say like one of your lovers an air sign, the other one the earth sign. It's the air sign that's gonna um take you that you're gonna be traveling with. It's the air sign. So if I date night. Yeah, they'll be back in. Yeah. So, Collective, get ready to be wined and dying. Um, they'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. So, this soon energy could be around Mercury Retrograde. So, around, yeah, November, December. During Mercury Retrograde. Some of you guys are waiting for your lover to keep their word. Maybe your lover always changing plans or something like that. Well, maybe your lover didn't give you a specific date, but um, it's going to happen around Merc Mercury Retrograde. So you will be traveling soon. Get ready to be wine and dine. If you're an air sign or if your lover an air sign. <laughs> Expect to hear from them soon. For some of y'all, your lover 
wants to take you out or spend time with you because they want to tell you something. For some of y'all, if y'all female, this could be a proposal for some of y'all. I hope it's good news that your lover got to tell you. Someone has to tell you something. Collector, for some of y'all, this lover, this is the lover th that was putting a spell on you. And they're trying to be patient. And then it's like when they come back in your energy, they're hoping that it worked and that you would let them have their way. So somebody could be, yeah, for some of y'all, so for somebody, your lover put a spell on you. Or they're doing it now and they letting something marinate. Your lover is letting something marinate. And then when they come back in your energy or around Mercury retrograde, it's like your lover is going to see if it's working, like if they spell working or something. But some of y'all, your lover, a gold digger. They want your money being used. For other you guys, collective, y'all could be dating a karmic lover. And your twin might take you on vacation and tell you something about your karmic lover. So for some of you guys, your high vibrational lover might tell you something about your karmic lover. Or this is your lover that's taking you out on a date. That's a gold digger. Or this person that's taking you out on a date is going to confess that they're aware that your ex or one of your current lovers, your karmic lovers, they're a gold digger. Y'all could be a fire sign or your, or y'all could be a fire sign or your karmic lover is a fire sign or this gold digger a fire sign, but something going on with a fire sign and an air sign. Some of y'all, be careful. Collective, somebody could be trying to do this, plan this, do this to you. Or this happened to somebody in the past. But I saw somebody taking somebody out of town on a date. And somebody set something up for somebody to be robbed. And this fire sign could be um like guns or something. It's like this gold digger took somebody out on a date. And then somebody got robbed or something like that. Like at gunpoint or something. So y'all be careful of a a, a karmic lover setting you up to, to rob you. This gold digger could be a fire sign. Or y'all a fire sign. Yeah, this gold digger could be a fire sign. Or this gold digger trying to set their lover up. And it could be at gunpoint or something like that. But this person took this um, person out of town or something. Somebody took somebody out of town and, and robbed somebody or something. A karmic lover. So, collective, y'all be careful of your, one, a karmic lover of yours setting you up because they're a gold digger. Or somebody could have did this to your lover and this is what they might confess to you. So, y'all lover could have left y'all for a karmic. And your lover got robbed or something. Or your lover took somebody out on a date and this female had him robbed or something like that. Something. Because I saw that. And something happened. Somebody was traveling by way of an airplane. Took somebody on a date to get them robbed or something like that. So collective, somebody might confess this to you that this is what happened to them. Or this is what somebody lover... Collected, this is what somebody could be planning to do to you or something. Because somebody doing a love spell, it's a spell to like pull somebody in. All right, so concerning this energy collective, concerning your love life or your lover, I'm going to pull... I'm going to pull five places, things, or activities that could be relevant to your love life or relevant between you and the lover. 
So it could be past, present, or future energy. I'm going to do past, present, and future. Spirit, give me places, things, and activities pertaining to the... Pertaining to past energy concerning the collective and our loving. So something was going on in a train, with a train in the past. So collective for this energy, these cards that's coming out. If it's a past lover, depending on the cards that come out, you will probably know which lover I'm referring to. So something going on with a subway, a railway, a railway, a train in the past. Peerless realm. Danger, danger lurks. Treacherous past. Omnius shadows. So somebody could have got hurt on a train in the past. You or your lover or something like that. Or you could have been with your lover or on your way to travel towards your lover. And it could have been like a train accident or something. But that this past energy. And then a garden. Floral delights, gardening joy, blossoming colors, plant care. So that's past energy regarding you, you and the lover. Let's see what's going on in the present. Spirit, give me places, things, or activities for the collective pertaining to the present concerning their love life and or with their lover. So a kitchen. Kitchen tools, meal preparation. A bench. Rest and relaxation, seating, comfort, pause and ponder. I heard somebody went for a walk with their lover in the present. Or you're going to go for a walk or something like that. Like, yeah. So present is like something recent or the recent past or the, the near future or something. Give me one more for the present. The sky. Yeah. Infinite universe cloud formation. Something definitely going on about an airplane. Or somebody catching an airplane. <clears throat> For some of y'all, I heard this was like at an airport. Y'all probably had to rest, relax. Um, while y'all was at an airport or something. Y'all could have probably had to do a lot of walking. Yeah, seating, comfort, pause, and ponder, yeah. So something could be on this bench. I heard an airport. And then we got the sky. All right, Spirit, give me future energy for the collective and their lover or the collective and their love life. A factory. So in the future, y'all might meet a lover at some type of factory. Industrial productions, manufacturing process, assembly line. In the future. That has some type of relevance regarding you and the lover in the future. A factory. Financial center. Economic hub, stock market, business district. In the nightclub. Dance floor neon light. So some of y'all might go to a nightclub with your um with your lover in the future. Or y'all discussing a nightclub, or maybe your um this lover could have neon lights or something in their house or something like that. Or you and your lover might could be dancing together, like at your home or their home or something like that. Or somebody might have a house party in the future. All right, Spirit, what's the overall energy for the collective concerning their love life? What's, the, what's going on with the collective? A leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. 
I'm going to just say it. Collective, for some of y'all, if your lover is doing a love spell, they don't have to do this. So, Collective, for some of y'all, your lover could be insecure. But you uh, sincerely, the feelings could be mutual. And Collective, your lover doing a love spell, and that's not necessary. Um, But Collective, for some of y'all, this love spell your lover doing, it's not going to work. Well, I heard it's innocent. So it's probably not nothing heavy. It's probably not nothing dark. Or it's just not going to work. Or after a while, your lover going to stop. So I heard that at the beginning of the reading. I'm going to just say it. Somebody doing a love spell, they don't even have to do that. So, leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. Because somebody doing a spell and it's not even going to work. Or well, collective over time, your lover might realize that they don't have to do what they're doing. Or it's not working. So, y'all, so, yeah, some of y'all, y'all might have to ignore love, your lover. Um, even if you could be suspicious that they're doing a love spell, yeah, some of y'all couldn't ignore it. Let me see y'all sign. I'm going to put y'all sign. Spirit, give me the sun sign of the collective whose lover is doing a love spell on them. So, collective, y'all could be a Cancer or a Pisces. Your lover doing a love spell on you. Y'all could be an Earth sign. Y'all lover doing a love spell on you. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So, mainly for you guys, y'all could definitely take this leap of faith in spite of you being suspicious or maybe not suspicious. But if you a Cancer or a Pisces or an Earth sign, your lover doing a love spell on you. But um, I heard it's innocent or something not going to work. So it's safe to make the move you're considering. Or after a while, your lover going to stop. Yeah. For some, for some of y'all, your lover is ascending. They're becoming a better person. They could be evolving. For some of y'all, your lover very insecure. Very insecure. Well, they getting karma. They're ascending. Because they doing something. A love spell is not necessary. I also heard for some of you guys, your lover is doing a love spell out of guilt because they have a third party. And they want to make sure you don't find out or something like that. So they doing a love spell on you so you won't find out. Well, your lover want to reconcile with you. So this for some of y'all, this could be your twin doing a love spell on you, and they don't have to. All right. Spirit, give me messages from the collective lover. Yeah, your lover say you worry so much. Your lover is working hard on themselves. Collective, for some of you guys, you're suspicious of something your lover's doing, and you right. And then your lover say you worry so much. But your whatever your suspicions are, it's, for some of y'all, it's true. Because your lover is working hard on themselves. So y'all could be telling your lover to stop doing something. And I heard they're trying to stop. <laughs> or they're telling you they're not doing what, you're, what you know they're doing. And they're trying to stop, though. But it's like this lover not going to admit that they're doing something or something like that. Or they're not going to admit that you're right. For some of you guys, y'all might confront your lover about doing a spell work on you. And they gonna deny it. But they is. And they trying to stop or something. Yeah. Your lover wanna be strong like you. Collective, for some of you guys, your lover is into the arts and you're not. And your lover, this could be a part of your lover's religion or spiritual practices. Some of you guys, your lover could be a warlock or something. And that's just what they do. 
So collective, your lover don't know how to maneuver through life without doing spell work or something on people. And you don't. And they trying to be strong like you. <laughs> so some of you guys, your lover, they're used to being a force or a manipulator. They don't know no other way. <clears throat> and your lover, like, how in the world do you go through life like that <laughs> or something? Or some of you guys, your lover cheats on you, but you don't cheat on your lover. And they trying to be strong like you. Or something your lover trying to be strong about. I could lose myself in you. So your lover could lose themselves in you. So, collective, your lover is kind of like learning to trust you. For some of y'all, your lover done learn the hard way to trust you. For some of you guys, it's your lover that done got robbed or something. Your lover could have left y'all for somebody else and ended up getting robbed or something. And now your lover trusts you or something. But something was going on like in the past or currently about trust. Your lover didn't trust you or something. And now your lover say, I could lose myself in you. So collective, whether you, whether you a male or a female, whether your lover is a male or a female, somebody could have set your lover up in the past. And it was a date or something like that. And your lover got set up or something. So seeing you makes your lover's day. And your lover want to know why are you so damn beautiful? And they want to know is there a second chance? Collective, for some of y'all, your lover left. They left you in the past. And they want to come back in your energy. For some of y'all, this lover might come back around Mercury retrograde. Or they could be trying to get in touch with you now. This lover. For some of you guys, you're wondering, should, should you reconcile with someone? And for some of y'all, y'all should. Especially if y'all are Cancer, a Pisces, or Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It's okay to make the... It's safe to make the move you're considering. I heard for some of you guys, your lover is projecting. So, collective, say like you single. And this lover is trying to return to you. And your lover saying, oh, you need to be safe. You can't be dating anybody. You need to be safe. Collective, that's because your lover got robbed by their lover or something. When somebody tried to set your lover up. So, collective, you're not in danger. It's safe to make the move you're considering. For some of y'all, your lover projecting onto you. And they got a confession. They want to tell you something. For some of y'all, I heard that projections. They're projecting onto you. And telling you to stay, stay safe and be careful when you date too much. Why you keep dating? You're dating people you don't even know. That's because that's what your lover did and, and got in a situation or something. So I heard collective, you 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 straight, you not in danger. Your lover just projecting. For some of you guys, your lover could have been like a very negative person. And collective, if your lover in the past was very paranoid, it's like collective, your lover wasn't satisfied until something really happened to them. So, your lover could have been like a very paranoid type of person or something. And something happened. <laughs> or something. 
Pure, what's going on with the collective and love moment? The nine of cups. So somebody collective, you could be this person's wish fulfillment. Or you're getting your way. Because y'all love it could be learning a karmic lesson. So y'all could be getting y'all wish fulfillment. And this could be your lover returning. Your lover getting karma. Or you're your lover's wish fulfillment. I heard only have eyes for you. <laughs> That nine of cups. <laughs> somebody could be drinking a lot too. Page of Wands. Collector, somebody want to reach out to you or you want to reach out to your lover. Somebody wish fulfillment is to like text you, come to your house, stop by your house. Somebody want to ask you your opinion about something. Somebody's wish fulfillment is the Page of Wands. The ace of swords here. Yeah. Somebody want to tell y'all the truth. But this person might text you. To me, the page of wands sometimes could be a text message. Somebody want to tell y'all the truth. This is the confession right here. Collector, somebody really want to tell you the truth about something. I don't know why this person didn't tell you the truth in the past. But they want to tell you now. It's like, it's this, it's this person's wish fulfillment. They want to tell you. So I don't know what was going on in the past, the far past or the recent past. Collector, for some of you guys, this lover is not going to tell you something face to face. They want to first text you. And see how you respond to a text. And then this person might be more willing to see you face to face or something. It's like they're testing the waters through a text message. Before they like tell you the straight up truth or something. Or somebody's going to make a suggestion to you. Some type of suggestion. <laughs> Clarify the nine of cups. The six of pentacles. So somebody want to do equal give and take with you. Somebody's wish fulfillment is to do equal give and take with you. Collector, for some of you guys, your lover want to tell you that they was cheating on you or something. So somebody's wish fulfillment is to give to two. Somebody might confess that they're in love with two people. Or somebody want to do equal give and take with you. For some of you guys, your lover want to give you some money. That six of pentacles could be a payout. For some of you guys, your lover might humble themselves and ask you for money. So maybe your lover need a payout or they need money. Yeah. Clear out a page of wands. The Knight of Swords. Yeah. <laughs> Collective, your lover is like keeping their composure. But really, deep down, your lover, the Knight of Swords. It's like this person anxious, they're jittery. Somebody could be nervous. Somebody on the outside, they the Page of Wands, but underneath, they the Knight of Swords. Or well, somebody crazy about you. <laughs> Somebody's crazy about you. That night of swords. It's like somebody saying, when I first saw you, I knew you was the one. Or collective, you saying to your lover, how you know you? It's like your lovers think they love you. And you like, how you know you love me? You acting like the night of swords. You're being impulsive. You don't even know me or something like that. So some of y'all, your lover might calm down. <laughs> They still the same person, but they going to calm down or something like that. <laughs> so
some of y'all, your lover, it could be, oh gosh. I'm going to tell y'all what I heard. Y'all lover could be very bossy. Could like to say like when your lover come to pick you up. You say, don't stop driving fast. Collective. Your love is still going to drive fast, but it's like they going to go around the corner and come back and then drive how you want them to drive. But they still got to do it their way. Or it's like collective. If you say to, my, say to your lover, stop coming to my house playing all that music. Your music is too loud. It's like collective, when your lover come to your house, they like the Knight of Swords. Their music is loud. It's like collective, your lover could be being humble just a little bit. And what they're going to do, they're going to come drive by your house with their music loud, but they're going to go around the block. And then they're going to come, the second time they come around, they're going to turn down the music. Collective, if you ask your lover, was that just you that passed by with all that loud music? Your lover going to say no. Mm -mm. they still had to do it their way. The Knight of Swords. That's what I just heard and I just saw. It's like the Knight of Swords got to do it their way. Or somebody showing up to you as the Page of Wands, but they really the Knight of Swords. So it's like whatever you asked your lover not to do, they still did it, but they got to do it their way before they do it your way. It's like your lover going to come down your street playing all that music. But they're they not going to stop. they still going to come down your street playing loud music. But they're going to keep going. They really was the Knight of Swords. And then they're going to get out the car and ring the doorbell. And you're going to say, was that you that just passed by? They're going to say, uh-uh. Or something like that. Or collective, for some of you guys, you're going to ask your lover a question. And they're going to say, yeah. And collective, you're going to be like, what's up with that? So some of y'all, your lover could be coming to pick you up for a date. And it's like they're going to drive by your house and then come back around. And y'all going to be like, what's up with that? That's because your lover still got to do it their way. Like you don't tell them what to do or something. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> it's like your lover, like you don't tell me this my car, this my music. You can't tell me that when I come to your house, I can't play my music loud. So it's like now your lover learned to like, they still going to do it, but it's like they going to drive by your house real fast and play the music loud. <laughs> and then the second time they come back around, they going to turn down the music. <laughs> Woo. the ace of swords collective for some of you guys your lover is doing something that you don't understand it's like your lover is going to tell you the truth but you're going to say okay it's like you don't it's like what you could be saying to yourself what's the point of circling my house twice what's the point what's the point collective for some of y'all your lover could be a little um not really narcissistic. Maybe your lover is used to being single. Your lover could be a bit jealous. For some of y'all, your lover think they all that or something like that because they're a warlock or something. Your lover, some of y'all, your lover do spell work or something like that. Y'all lover could be racist, prejudiced, sexist, stereotyping. Or something going on with a stereo. Or your lover like, you don't tell me what to do. This is my car, my music, my stereo, my speakers or something. <laughs> Collective, for some of y'all, I heard that's the same reason why your lover got robbed. Because how they act or something. <laughs> Somebody could have robbed y'all lover. <laughs> Or set your lover up. Because <laughs> they the nine of cups. Clarify that ace of swords. 
the King of Pentacles in reverse. I'm going to put that back in the deck. Collector, for some of you guys, if y'all have two lovers or two exes, one of your lovers could have robbed your other lover or one of your exes robbed your other ex or something like that. So somebody might tell you the truth about the King of Pentacles in reverse. Or somebody don't got no money. Collector, for some of y'all, your lover might have to humble themselves. They need money or something. Or somebody want to tell y'all the truth about the King of Pentacles in reverse. For other you guys, this is a straight up karmic. Y'all dating the King of Pentacles in reverse. And collective, when you see the red flags, don't ignore it. For some of y'all. This King of Pentacles in reverse could be a karmic warlock. Trying to date you. And collective, the Knight of Swords going to do something. And then tell you the truth. This person going to be like, yeah, I did it. Yep. You still want to date me? Yes or no? Somebody crazy. Some of y'all. So the King of Pentacles in reverse could be very vain. Very irresponsible. Very vain. A, car a karmic warlock. 